I designed Layla in 2014, and when I started out to design that earpiece, I wanted to make something that was good enough that you could master a record on. Not with any hyped bottom, any hyped high frequencies, it was just basically straight through plumbing. It, all, it was just like the recipe actually just all blended together and worked. The main reason I wanted to do a new Universal Layla is first of all, people have been asking for it for a long time. You know, that we haven't made one in quite a while. I was looking for a new form factor because with the 12 drivers, and all the silicone tubes and everything it takes to put it in phase, it was really too large of a package. As even by taking the size out and using new technologies to miniaturize the Layla, I wanted to make sure it had the exact same frequency response and tonality that the original Layla had. In order to make the Layla Universal smaller, we had to obviously use 3D printing and very high resolution SLA printers to make this happen. So I tasked the 3D department and my production team to start designing a chassis and it's called a sonic tube chassis. So some of the problems that you have with silicone tubes is that when you try to bend them more than 90 degrees they start to kink and they start to reduce the flow of the audio. The high frequency tube on the Layla is 40 millimeters long so that's a lot of tube to fit into a small piece. And that's only one of three tubes and the tubes because that they're not silicone we can do some really cool routing inside the tube chassis so it's pretty amazing that we've got all that tube length that small and able to fit into a very, very small shell. Also, we had to do like 10 or 12 revisions to make sure that we were getting the exact same audio response that we were in the original uh, silicone tube Layla. really pleased with, with the outcome of this. It's spot on to the original Layla frequency response and tonality. With the development of the Sonic Tube chassis, we are able to place 12 drivers into the most compact shape we have ever done. This in turn allowed us to shrink the shell to the smallest shell size we have ever been able to fit a Layla into. The angle of the bore follows the angle of the ear canal, allowing for a lower profile and a more comfortable fit. The shell is machined from a solid block made up of hundreds of layers of carbon fiber, which reduces the weight and also increases the strength of the shell. The shell is 45% lighter than the full metal jacket Layla. With the development of the Sonic Tube chassis and the smaller form factor, I think this will be the most accurate and comfortable Layla Universal we've ever made. One of the key features of this Layla is we use the acoustic sound chamber at the end of the sound bore. Typically we would always terminate the triple bore at the end. So what we ended up doing was making a sound bore that actually went back a few millimeters and then we compensated by shortening the tubes and restricting the actual volume of air in front of those tubes. That little bore that we've done on there is, is not only functional as far as keeping the frequency response correct but also prolonging use without getting wax and sweat into it. In 2013, we introduced our proprietary four pin connector. It revolutionized the industry. It was the first of its kind. And um, we're now at Layla Aeon, where we're introducing our new seven pin connector. We worked with a German made manufacturer to come out with an all new proprietary uh, seven pin connector. It's wet proof. The connector is very easy to align. We completely redesigned the entire cable uh, and one of the places we started with was the OCC silver plated Litz wire. The braiding of the cable is all new. We wanted something that was beautiful but also the most durable cable we've ever come out with. We also wanted to revisit the base attenuator housing. Uh, we wanted to make sure we could slim it down as much as possible resulting in 43% reduction in size. We redesigned the overmold and basically what we did is we just made a tighter bend to keep it lower profile and sleeker. With all the reduction in component sizes, we're able to make a very lightweight cable.
Everything about this earpiece, other than the audio signature and the frequency response, is totally brand new. The cable's brand new, the attenuator's brand new, the materials we're using is brand new, the connector's brand new, the sonic tube chassis is brand new. So we basically have taken the future and blended it with the old school, and I think we made an amazing earpiece with this particular process that we've gone through. Thank you.